I remember playing for Scotland from you know under 16s, now under 18s, up to youth level, and and uh, you know been involved with you know coaching national coaching through the SGU or even you know through the county county coaching from a young age, and you know it definitely played a huge part in getting me to where I am. You know without that. Um, you know, I don't think my game would have progressed like it did in, in amateur golf, and you know, it gives you a lot of experience traveling around, playing in tournaments for you know, representing your country. And uh, you know, I'm sure Scott would agree that it's it's definitely a very important part of getting to where we are. The SGU and Sports Scotland were integral in, in the fact that um, you know you can get on with with what you want to do, is try and perform at the highest level, and all the resources around you at your disposal, and um, you can afford to go out and play in certain tournaments, um, and it takes your mind off. Really, the things outside the golf course and lets you focus on the on the, the job at hand, which is is ultimately going there, preparing well, and trying to have a good tournament. So, um, any young professional uh, these days, if they get funding from anybody, um, it does make a big difference. You know, that that was uh, extremely beneficial to me. All the, the trips we got to go away on in, in the amateur game and being part of the, the teams. You know. Um, you know, warm weather coaching, things like that. I was lucky enough to be in the squads for, um, well, since I was about 16, I think. Um, so, had I not been supported by the SGU, there's no doubt I would have went to America. But the uh, the system that we had in place, um, you know, we went away to Dubai for a lot of the winter. We went away to South Africa, and you know, we had a great system there. So, you know, there was no need to to go away to America for the weather or you know for the golf because we were uh, we were so well supported in Scotland. The SGU, I suppose, in, in part of um, the Institute of Sport helped me with everything. So the Institute of Sport helped me with my physical training, my physio, um, nutrition, um, psychology, if I need any of that. Um, the SGU, are, they take care of all the golf. Um, Ian Ray's coached me now for seven years and, and before that was Spencer Henderson when I was, was a junior. Um, and now they look after every aspect um, of I suppose that you need to do well. Support we we receive through nutrition and strength and conditioning, things like that, through the Institute of Sport. Um, you know it's fantastic, and uh, I've been lucky enough to continue my support into the professional game as well. So, so it's helped a lot. I mean, pretty much everything uh, is in place that you would require or, or would like, you know, want to find out more about or, or incorporate into your uh, into your kind of daily life. If you do turn pro, you're pretty much going to need. Everything that um, we've been fortunate enough to receive, um, coaching, strength and conditioning program, physios, um, what was psychologists, if you like, um, and we've I've been on three winter training camps now over the last three years. So South Africa and Australia, I've been to uh, competing as well. So you experience different kinds of golf, and um, I think that stands you in very good stead when you come back here to compete over the summer.